Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see what we can do with this one. Ah, oh, fuck that. I just hate it keeps beeping even when I deselected that. Okay, this will be an interesting one, uh, an interesting character, David Bowie. So we've got this magazine, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called Mojo, I think it's Mojo Magazine, the Collector's Series, and this is uh, good old David Bowie, who died fairly recently. Uh, I'm not a fan, a big fan of his, I do like his, I like some things about him, but he's not his music typically isn't my type of music um, but he's an interesting uh, sort of a, a dude this is a really thick magazine which makes it difficult to control but yeah he's an interesting character I must admit um, Whoa, this looks interesting. Um, it's not quite what I'm after. That could look good, maybe. That's an interesting point. I actually think I could use that interesting piece. I don't know. Um, it's an interesting thing we've just done with David Bowie uh, but he is an amazing uh, character from what I've heard now David Bowie died of some kind of uh, cancer he died of cancer of some descript I don't know what he died of um, wondering how big we're gonna make this um, gonna leave it like that but basically yeah he's an interesting character you gotta hand it to him um, posthumously of course he would have been a horrible way to go but I did hear he was very uh, productive he was very productive in his last in the last throes of his life so it was a positive thing that I watched on YouTube about David Bowie and he looks a bit too red or too magenta but basically yeah it was a real I did read that he um, made lots of use of his time to record more stuff he apparently had a album he recorded called Lazarus not an album um, I think it's a song a single called Lazarus so he basically I'm going to take out some of that magenta but yeah he was productive and I'm really happy to hear that and I think he used his cancer as inspiration for Lazarus if I remember correctly still looks a bit too red too magenta looks a bit better but his lips are going to go into the yellow um, just wondering where the center of this job is going to be I'm actually wondering if I'm just going to do another take I really want to make this one 
a good demo. So I'm just going to put the magenta back. Um, but basically, yeah, I really... No, we don't want that. So I'm just going to take this, put it aside. It looks nice, but it's not what I'm after. But basically, he... It was good to see that he made last his last days on Earth count instead of wasting them in a hospital bed and being depressed. Apparently he was quite a happy sort of a guy. He was a positive sort of a guy. Some of his songs sound really negative, like... I just get the feeling, yeah, you know, they sound really negative. Uh, and this looks interesting. Uh, David Bowie peeking out on a funny angle. So I think that's a good one. But basically, now we're going to just lose all that movement and just enlarge this section. But basically, yeah, um, he made use of his last moments on Earth. And I'm really happy that he did, even though his music isn't my taste as a general uh, rule. It's not my taste, his music. This is a huge magazine. It is difficult to manoeuvre. And again, he's, he seems to be peeking out. He seems to have the... I do like this version. I do think we can make this. It's, it does look really interesting. So we're going to use this. And we're going to enlarge it 200, I think. A bit bigger than 200 on the vertical. Uh, and on the horizontal, we're going to make it a bit no, a more normal, whatever. So David Bowie can go back. And we're just going to, we, we still look like he is a bit, maybe I should have mastered it with a bit less magenta, but his lips will disappear into it, which we don't particularly want. But this is an interesting piece we've just um, created. So I think we're going to make the vertical 190 and the horizontal be 143 but yeah he's an interesting very maybe yeah, eccentric sort of a character um, but eccentricity shouldn't be viewed with um, embarrassment or shame my dad is a person who thinks I'm sh I should be normal doesn't realise that normalcy is a cop-out. Just because I haven't been successful with my art yet doesn't mean it's never going to happen. Trying to be mediocre and trying to fit into the crowd of IQ 90 to 110 between those or including those, trying to be average, trying to be a person that has children and has normal commitments instead of wondering where the center is going to be i actually think i have to enlarge it a bit more just a little bit but basically my dad i know he would have liked me to have had children he would have liked me to have uh, married in my 20s uh, but he don't get me wrong i want to marry uh, it never happened i made mistakes in my life uh, and Dad really hates me because of these mistakes. He blames my art being unsuccessful, but he doesn't know that it was when I gave up the art in the middle of its popularity in the early 90s that that is why it failed. It's nothing to do with the art. There's nothing wrong with what I do. It's what the timing. I timed it badly. I made mistakes, as most people in some way do. Uh, and yeah, and he thinks it's okay to to um, 
have an affair with a person, have, have affairs, it's okay to have affairs and to go behind my mum's back with those affairs and to divorce and remarry, that can't be considered acceptable. But Dad thinks it is because it's normal. A lot of people do it, so it's okay. Just because everyone else is doing it, it's okay. But that's fuck. I'm against that. You know, you don't just break up marriages for life. So he's fucked. Fucking around with other women. Yeah. Especially when he was overseas. Dickhead. He's not setting a good example. Double standards. My brother's also a double standards person. So he's an asshole. He doesn't like this. So I'm really over it, folks. I'm really over it. Being normal, having gaggles of friends. Both my brother has gaggles of friends and so does my dad. They're both fucking sheeple. Sheep follow the crowd, even if the crowd is going to a, into a fiery furnace. No, why would I want that? I want to do what I think is fucking right. I know what I'm doing. So being eccentric. If David Bowie uh, wasn't eccentric, he probably wouldn't have been as much of a genius as he was you know he really was i'm not a fan of his music much uh maybe some of it's okay i do think i like ashes to ashes i do appreciate some of his music but most of it it's not my taste from what i know but you know he wouldn't be david if it wasn't for eccentricity so hail eccentricity hail it and, and celebrate it folks like what this what made this character great? Yeah, gotta go.